Hey what's up, it's Chris from Rocker Films and in today's video I'm going to talk to you all about how to shoot a time lapse on your phone. Now if you've been subscribed to this channel for a while then you may have seen the time lapse video that I made at the start of last year. And in this video, I talked all about what a time lapse was and how to shoot this on your DSLR. Now, for those that didn't see that video, a time lapse is a series of photos taken for an extended period of time at regular intervals and then stitched together to create a video. The resulting effect is a video that looks like it's been sped up, and this is really useful for showing the passing of time. But what do you do if you don't own or you can't get your hands on a digital SLR camera? Can you still make a time lapse? Yes, you just use your phone instead. Now, there are two ways that you can capture a time lapse on your phone. The first way is more simple, but the second option gives you more control and that gives you more creative freedom when you're shooting the time lapse. So for the more simple method, you just want to launch up your phone, load up the camera app and then swipe across to the time lapse feature. Now you want to lock your camera down to a still position. You want to make sure this is not moving. So place this on a tripod or place this on a flat surface and then start rolling the time lapse. You want to keep this running for a bare minimum of five minutes, but the longer you keep this rolling for, the better the effect is going to be. So keep this rolling for up to around half an hour for the best results. That technique is great, but it is really simple. And the problem is all of the settings are completely automatic. So this means if the light changes, so if you're shooting a time lapse from day to night, then unfortunately your white balance is going to flicker, the brightness is going to flicker, and it's going to look a little bit ugly if you solely depend on the automatic settings in the camera. So this is where we go over to method two and use the slightly more advanced technique to get cleaner results. So for this method, we're going to download an app called ProCam. And once you've launched the app, you'll be presented with all of these awesome settings. Now pressing that arrow on the bottom bar, you want to scroll across to time-lapse. We'll press that arrow one more time and we can change the frame size and the frame rate. So I'm gonna change this to 1080p, 24 frames per second. And then come out of that menu and on the bottom bar again, we're going to press set. Inset, go across to video. And when you're inside a video, you want to scroll down to time lapse interval. And this is the time interval in between each still taken. If your time lapse is running for a shorter period of time, then I would recommend shorter intervals of around two seconds. But if you're running over half an hour, then set this to at least five or six seconds. Now scrolling down to the next setting, we have a time lapse start delay. And it's super important that you at least set a two second delay. When you touch your phone on the tripod, the camera is going to wiggle for a little bit. And that wiggle will be translated into the first photo and you don't want this. Setting the time start delay to at least two seconds will give your phone enough time to settle its movement, stop moving and this means when you capture that first frame it's going to be super clear. Now that's the basics of how to shoot your time lapse on your phone but we can take this one step further we can make this effect even more interesting by adding camera movements. So we can turn our time lapse into a hyperlapse. So a hyperlapse is similar to a time lapse in the sense that you're speeding up footage to replicate the effect of time passing. But rather than locking your phone to a tripod, you're gonna introduce camera movement in the hyperlapse to create a really awesome and interesting effect. So to shoot a hyperlapse, you want to set up your phone as if you're shooting a time lapse. But before you start rolling, you want to find a point of interest within your frame. So this could be a skyscraper, a building, a bridge. Find a point of interest and frame this up within one of the grid lines on your camera. Now, once your camera's rolling, you want to walk towards, walk away, or walk around your point of interest, and make sure you keep it framed up within the exact same point on your video. It's also super important to note that you should be very gentle when you're moving with the foam. Any aggressive camera movement captured whilst you're shooting the hyperlapse will be in the final video. So be very gentle when you're moving with the phone. Now, as soon as you've done this, you've successfully shot the hyperlapse and all you need to do now is get this into your video editor and throw on warp stabilizer inside of Adobe Premiere Pro to add additional stabilization to this effect. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to check out the previous video by clicking this box just down here and also, don't forget to subscribe by pressing this circle just up here. See you on the next episode.